Hi guys, Kim here from Kim's Crochet and Knits. It's vlog number, I think six, to be truthful. I think it's six. Don't mark my words on that. I'm vlogging. <laughs> so anyways, I, uh, I don't know if any of you guys remember, I said I was going to be doing um, the worm in an apple. This guy. I did it. I did it. Look at this guy. A little bit lumpy and clumpy. I gotta kind of shape him up here a little bit. But he actually comes out of his little socket here. <laughs> and you can stuff him back right back in there. And you just pull him out where you want him. He's got a pipe cleaner in here. You can shape them, not to the very end, but yeah. And I just stuck two safety eyes in there. His um, leaf's a little flimsy. And there's the top, and there's the bottom. Just gotta do a little bit more shaping of the apple here. I'll tell you, I got stuck on uh, halfway through this. Um, on the other wormhole here it wasn't making sense and I think they might have made a mistake in the pattern but I just went with my gut feeling what I should do what makes sense and it worked yay so I got the worm in the apple in the granny smith apple my favorite kind of apple so there that's another one done and he will go up here somewhere oh, actually I'll find a spot a nice spot for him later He's a good size apple too, eh? <laughs> and I made all him with the impeccable from... I did save the... I'm sure I did save it. But of course, I cannot remember exactly where I put the tag. It's the impeccable like by Lion Brand, I'm pretty sure. And it's this color which I don't have the tag for, like I said. And I gotta do something about that. But anyways, and this is the book that I got it from, Crochet, Critters, and Bugs. Don't mind me, I have some scribbles on there. But yeah, I got it at the Fenland Falls Fiber Festival I went to this year. It was a lot of fun. So anyways, I went to Walmart today because our friend Crystal, like Crystal's crochet and stuff. I want your Walmart, Crystal. Our, our Walmart sucks. Anyways, we didn't have any of that yarn, so I'm almost thinking about taking a trip to Oshawa here in the next couple weeks. So anyways, I went to Walmart and I got, I picked up one of them magazines you get in a bag. Um... Simple crochet. It's got 23 summer looks. Look at that. I'm going to be making this. And I have um, the yarn from Knit Crate. One of the, I can't remember what month it was. It was just a couple months back. We got a similar, I got a similar color to that. So I'm hoping I can make something with that. Another one I wanted to make. There was a Amigurumi uh, doggy in here. I couldn't believe it when I seen it. I was like, what? I was like, I hope the pattern for that is in here. I should have marked the page. I'm sorry, guys. Next time I will. I gotta find it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I like it. And I got in. It does have the, um... Uh, directions uh, the pattern oh good lord but anyways other than that it came with what was called the hairpin lace loom has anybody ever oh and a bamboo uh, four mil four millimeter bamboo hook so anyways it, and it also in here comes with um, a pattern oh. to teach you how to use this little fella. I guess you can make, where's the bracelet? The bracelet was here on the front. 
you know that there's a bracelet in here that you can make with that hairpin lace loom. And I was thinking about making it, but I don't know. It would look kind of hard. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a make that little like this but then again you can make this scarf as well so I don't know I'm kind of excited I'm gonna look up there's got to be a tutorial here on YouTube for this there's got to be Cisco my dog is playing so if you hear him barking he's doing Cisco and barking really loud Cisco Anyways, I also picked up another pack of my favorite Suzanne Bates hooks. Yeah, there's one missing because I'm actually using it right now for my Amica Remy. And uh, yeah, I love these hooks. I have like three, I have three packages of these and I cannot find a whole set yet. They're everywhere. Oh, oh no, that's a pink one. I've already got one here. Anyway, yeah. So in Walmart, while I was going to check for the yarn that Crystal said that they had at her Walmart, it was some kind of a cake um, sparkle yarn. Well, they didn't have any. So, of course, but they had the Red Heart Amour, Am Amour, Amore, I guess, and Armor, Amour, Amour, I think it's French. Um, it feels like that stuff feels like butter. You know, that yarn feels like butter. Katie and Crotcheter. She's the one that I think sort of showed us that, that I remember anyway. So anyways, there was only one of this color. They were originally $5.97 and I got them all for $3.50 at Walmart. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. This one's Jasmine. And there's uh, 100 grams, 198 yards in each ball. So I got that color and I got this lighter gray, which is an earl gray. And then I got this one, which is a darker gray called Whisper. So I got these, I'm pretty sure I got a couple of, yeah, I got, there's only one of this lighter gray too. So I got two of the darker gray and then I got two of this color that I really like too. I thought would go nice with the darker gray. And this one is called Bliss. So. I got all these guys, all for three dollars and fifty cents, and they all feel so great. I'm thinking maybe a cardigan with all these colors. I don't know if I'll put this color in there, but these guys, I think so. I wasn't walking out without them. I'll tell you that much. I wanted them. I don't need them, but I feel like I do. And that's all good enough for me. No, it's not cold out, but I thought I'd wear something crocheted. And I absolutely love this um, scarf that I had made by Lanicia here on YouTube. I have a video that has her link down below that I had done. Yeah, so that's going to be my vlog for today. I think this is number six, to be truthful. I try to put a few of them together, but that's not fair. Oh, I'm going to show you this too. You know all those Mandarin minis? They're like these ones, but they're the, they came in the minis, the packs of four. Well, here's one. They all came in packs like this. Well, I decided I had a whole whack of them. So I found a wrap pattern on YouTube. I can't remember her name. I will post it down below if you want the pattern, but I thought I'd use all the ones that I have. So I've been starting to put them all together in this wrap. Yeah, I thought, wow, you know what? Isn't this cool? I just love it. And this drape on this is amazing, like, amazing. So I've got a few more colors that I'm still going to add. Right now I'm adding this beautiful color. Isn't that pretty? And that's pretty much what the color is there. Ooh, that looks good. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. We're going to lose hook. 
I always lose the hook to the pattern that I'm doing. Anyways, so that's all I got for you guys today. Um, tomorrow I'm hoping to have my Hobium yarn in. It was supposed to be, I thought it was going to be in today, but I'm guessing it's going to be in tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then it'll be the next day. Or no, it won't. It'll be in Monday because it's a holiday. Because it's weekend, I mean. <laughs> oh my god. Cisco! Oh god. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night and happy crafting. Till then, bye bye.